G'day guys, Hector back again. Uh, I'm about to go out for an MPV flight on the uh, little Balsa H-Quad, a little muck around thing. Um, and it's sort of dawned on me that I haven't really gone over the specs on this little thing. Uh, if any of you guys were interested in uh, what components I was running. And uh, yeah, so I thought I'd, before I go out for my little flight, I'd just show you my little H-Quad. And I'll give you a quick little rundown on all the, um, on all the parts that I that I use on this thing. Um, you know, I've got another really nice frame with some quite expensive motors that I'm going to be using for a filming rig, but this is my FPV slash acro fun time <laughs> quad. So, um, yeah, anyway. Uh, the frame is a Hobby King H4 frame. You uh, may remember me crashing on the mountain over that direction. I had some damage on the frame, so I cut it off here. And um, since then, I've been using it for for this sort of setup. Um, the motors are cheap Turnigy uh, 2836-9 950 kV. Um, they're I think they're 12 dollars a pop for these motors, and I run 20 amp ESCs. And at the moment, I'm running on uh, four cells. I usually run a a four cell, maybe a 2200. Uh, or two of them in parallel. Got a couple of the 2200s there. Or I run just a single uh, 2650 milliamp hour, and that gives me six minutes. But I mean, you can throw two of them together and you know have a 10 minute flight, no dramas. Um, radio system is FR Sky XJT module. Uh, so I got the um, XJT combo from Hobby King. So I got the uh, the module there and the receiver. And since I've bought a couple of other receivers, because I really do love this this radio setup, uh, it's telemetry with RSSI indications. So and if you're starting to get low on uh, on range, this module will start beeping at you. And you can set up fail safe as well. So uh, that's great for my flight controller because uh, I can set up a return to home extremely easily so it's, it's a flick of a button or I can just turn my transmitter off and it's going to come home um, moving on my flight controller is an Argicopter APM 2.5 uh, with that you can get them from Hobby King for about 75 bucks the clones and they're just as good as as the uh, as the 3DR APM 2.5s sort of getting onto old technology but they fly great for the quads I wouldn't put an APM 2.5 on an Octo because I mean, they're just running out of resources so um, that's got the it's got triple axis uh, gyro accelerometer it's got your altimeter it's got a three axis compass um, the internal compass is actually had the traces cut and I put the compass on the underside of my GPS module there just to get it away from magnetic interference and I've got my uh, the uh, interference is down to five percent under there and it was I did have it taped here and it was at uh, 35 percent so just moving it up here upside down and changing the orientation got me down to five percent and running compass mod. Um, so yeah, that's my flight controller the GPS is a LEA um, six module from 3DR, so it's uh, the most, probably the better of the GPSs you can get. You know, it's got, a, I think, three or four different um, protocols. Because so, you've got Galileo and um, and a couple of other different. Uh, they're very much, they're very similar to the US GPS um, system, but you know, like China and, and a few other mobs, they're throwing their own satellites up, and these these modules talk to. To those satellites as well so you're not just on GPS you've got the option of a couple of other systems depending on where you are and for Australia because we're not uh, over the US you know I'm, a, I'm down here in Australia we don't have the greatest GPS reception so that getting the best GPS module you can get around here really helps to, to get you locked in uh, moving on uh, for my FPV oh, sorry no I'll leave that for later um, Still a part of, of of the main power system is the is the 3DR current sensor uh, with Beck included. So this is actually essentially my BEC 
that powers the flight controller and the GPS and the receiver. Uh, it's got 2.5 amp back and it also tells my flight controller how much current I'm drawing and the voltage of my batteries. So I mean, if, I, if I'm starting to go over capacity, uh, I can, on my, it'll tell me, you know, if I'm starting to get way over, it's kind of, I can set it up to just land the helicopter, uh, the quadcopter for me, which is excellent. Um, moving on, I've got an on-screen display hidden away in here which has the video feed from my GoPro that sits in this case and it runs into the on-screen display and we've got essentially the telemetry information is picked up by the on-screen display and it's, and it's telling me uh, direction to home, the voltage, the current of my batteries, um, all, all the sort of things that, you, that you'd that you want to know, uh, longitude and latitude on screen so you can record in case you get lost. Uh, yeah. <laughs> very handy having an on-screen display I, you know it's an extra seventeen dollars on the system so i mean i'd grab an on-screen display if you're going to get into any sort of distance flying or waypoint you know missions or even fpv um yeah it's great uh i've also got uh the hobby king 915 megahertz telemetry modem on the underside here uh, so far I've got a nice 5 decibel gain, um, like a big bloody antenna and I've sort of I've thrown it out about 3k line of sight here and my telemetry was still at uh, 99% and that just that, that feeds back to the computer and gives me uh, GPS location and and all, well, every everything that's going on in the flight controller uh, basically anything you want to know, like how many satellites have you got, how much current are you drawing, what you know uh, the position of the thing, how how fast it's reacting to things. You know, you can change your um, all your values mid-flight if you if you game enough. You can change your PID values and and you know you, you can update your um your waypoints via telemetry as well. So if you are if you're out there flying and you want to send it on a new mission, you can update a new mission to it and send it on its way, or tell it to come home, or do whatever you want via the computer with your transmitter turned off. You can still control this quadcopter by your computer with the telemetry modem. Um, and the final piece of the puzzle is my 600 milliwatt Immersion RC uh, 5.8 gig video transmitter and my uh, 5.8 gig Fat Shark goggles for FPV flight. Um, the 5.8 stuff with the with the um, circular polarized skew planar antennas these are the spyro net version 2 antennas they're pretty good like I, i've pushed them 2k and still had reasonable link uh, reasonable varies from person to person but most the biggest drama of me if i want to go a little bit further i could probably go 3k if i updated my receiver in these old predator one goggles i've actually got some uh, minus 90 decibel receivers that i'm using to make a a do-it-yourself diversity setup, which I, I'm going to post a video about very soon. So I'm sure a few guys will be interested about making their own diversity receivers. And um, that's about it. So yeah, I'm going to plug her all in, and we'll sit we'll sit you in here, and I'll take you for a fly.